I'm Michelle Mikes, the K-12 Mathematics Supervisor for the Cobb County School District. Our district is committed to helping students succeed, and you as parents are an integral part of this process. To help keep you informed about what your child is learning in our math classrooms, we are excited to provide you with these informational videos on concepts taught throughout the school year. Thank you for taking the time to discover ways to support your students' learning. Welcome to the fourth grade Unit 1 parent video. My name is Angela Mack and I am an academic coach at Hendricks Elementary School. Today we are going to discuss the components of the fourth grade unit which focuses on whole numbers, place value, rounding, and computation. Here is the concept map that shows the main topics for this unit. In this unit, students will be able to read, write, and compare multi-digit whole numbers, round multi-digit whole numbers to any place, fluently add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers, represent problems using equations, solve word problems including those about distance, time, volume, mass, and money, represent measurement quantities, and use perimeter formulas for rectangles. We will begin by taking a closer look at recognizing and determining how a digit represents 10 times what it would be of the digit to the right. In fourth grade, students work with whole numbers to the millions place. When explaining their understanding of the power of 10, students will have to analyze a number such as this, 134,482, and tell how the four in the hundreds place is related to the four in the thousands place. Students should be able to explain that the four in the hundreds place has a value of 400, and that the four in the thousands place has a value of 4,000, which is 10 times greater than 400 because 400 times 10 is 4,000. This can also be explained by saying that 4,000 divided by 10 is 400. Next, we will zoom in on reading, writing, and comparing multi-digit whole numbers. In this unit, students will write numbers in various forms, one being standard form or in numerals as the number 409,230 is shown here. Using a place value chart may help students with writing the number in expanded form, which requires them to show the value of each digit in the numeral, as well as writing numbers in number name or word form, which requires the proper placement of commas. Also notice that the word and is not used between whole numbers. For example, 230 should not be said or written as 230. The same goes for 409. Students will use the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to to compare multi-digit whole numbers. Once again, using a place value chart may assist with the understanding of this concept. Let's compare these two numbers, 23,687 and 23,678. Both numbers have a two in the ten thousands place, a three in the thousands place, and a six in the hundreds place. However, the first number has an eight in the tens place, and the second number has a seven in the tens place. 80 is greater than 70. Therefore, 23,687 is greater than 23,678. Now let's talk about rounding multi-digit whole numbers to any place. When assisting students with understanding the concept of rounding, try using a number line. For instance, when rounding the number shown, 53,421 to the nearest thousand, have students to box the digit in the thousands place. Then, identify the two thousands that the number falls between on the number line. Next, identify the midpoint between those two numbers and label where the number that is being rounded should be placed. If needed, label each tick mark of the number line. Once this is completed, students can see which number to round to based upon distance as well as the midpoint. From 53,421, the shorter distance is to 53,000. Also, 53,421 is before the midpoint. Therefore, the number should be rounded to 53,000. 
Prior to fourth grade, students use place value strategies to add and subtract. Now students will fluently add and subtract using standard algorithms. Students should be able to explain why the standard algorithms for addition and subtraction work. While explaining their understanding, students are encouraged to use the term regroup instead of carry or borrow. For example, when adding 298 plus 132, 8 ones plus 2 ones is 10 ones. 10 ones equals 110. So the group of 10 ones must be moved to the tens column. This action brings about the regrouping that is often called carrying and noted by marking a one above the place to the left. In this problem, students must regroup again when adding the tens digits because there is a set of 10 tens in 13, which must be regrouped for 100. Two hundreds plus one hundred plus the extra hundred is four hundreds. Therefore, the sum is four hundred thirty. Regrouping also occurs in subtraction. For instance, to find the difference of 345 and 156, students should notice that it is not possible to subtract six ones from five ones without regrouping. So 110 should be regrouped for a set of 10 ones, which is noted by marking out the four, changing it to three tens, and adding 10 ones to the five ones to make 15 ones. This process is often called borrowing. However, students are taught to call this regrouping because bundles of 10 are grouped and moved from one place to another. Now look at the tens place. Regrouping must take place again because it is not possible to subtract five tens from three tens. So 100 should be regrouped for a set of 10 tens, which is once again noted by marking out the three hundreds, changing it to two, and adding 10 tens to the three tens to make 13 tens. 13 tens minus five tens is eight. Two hundreds minus one hundred is one hundred. Therefore, the difference is one hundred eighty-nine. Next is solving word problems and representing problems with equations. Here is a problem that requires multiple steps. A pound of apples cost two dollars. Rachel bought three pounds of apple. If she gave the clerk a ten dollar bill, how much change will she get back? While solving problems like this, students are encouraged to use pictures, numbers, and words to show their thinking. Additionally, students are asked to write equations such as this to represent the problem. In this equation, the letter C is used to represent the unknown. Finally, students will use formulas to find the perimeter of rectangles. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. Take a look at this problem. Mr. Smith is building a fence around his rectangular garden. If the length of the garden is eight feet and the width is six feet, how much fencing does Mr. Smith need to buy? This problem only provides students with the measurement of two sides of the figure, the length and the width. However, students should know the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent or the same length. To find the perimeter, students can add the sides length plus width plus length plus width or add the given length and width and multiply by 2. In this case, 8 plus 6 equals 14. 14 times 2 equals 28. The perimeter is 28 feet. In summary, in Unit 1, 4th grade students will understand the power of 10, read and write numbers up to 1 million in numerals, number names, and expanded form, compare multi-digit numbers using symbols, round numbers to any place, fluently add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithms, solve multi-step problems about measurement and use equations to represent the problems, 
and use perimeter formulas for rectangles. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. We know that when families and schools work together, student success increases. Please visit the Cobb County Math Department website for additional information and resources to support your student at home.